Government lockdown restrictions are causing immeasurable harm to the most vulnerable up and down the length and breadth of this country. Sadly, there has been a dramatic upsurge in the incidence of domestic violence. During the height of the previous lockdown, Women's Aid responded to a 43% increase in calls from women who are trapped with abusers at home. Women's Aid expect that they will be responding to thousands more pleas for help from victims over the course of the current lockdown. Figures today by Safe Ireland state that almost 2,000 women and 411 children were in receipt of some support from domestic violence services. Job losses, remote working, self-isolation and other measures related to the lockdown are already impacting on victims. The reality that the abuser is at home all the time is a terrifying one. Many women and children would spend the next few weeks in suffocating circumstances with their abusers because of government-imposed lockdowns. This ugly vista is unfortunately largely out of the public gaze, beyond the long arm of the law and also outside the lens of the media. We do not see the evil of domestic violence depicted graphically on the evening news like we see a stricken patient in ICU grasping for, uh, for air. Yet it is every bit as tragic, every bit as real. As a woman and a parent, I would like to give particular mention to the plight of women and children suffering as a result of this increase in violence. Women and children who are the collateral damage of this government's ill humane and inconceived rolling lockdown strategy. The toll domestic violence is taking on the health and well-being of women, children and families must be taken into account in the decisions to end lockdown as soon as possible. I implore the government not to turn a blind eye to the ill effects of lockdown. The Taoiseach, Tornishta and Minister for Health should have a collective courage and sense to pursue a better strategy to genuinely living with the virus instead of hiding from it indefinitely, all the while ignoring the damage done to the health and wealth of this nation. Thank you.